This video is sponsored by Nerd Monkeys. More on them a bit later in the video. So here's the thing that happened. Um, I kind of more or less finished setting up a room in my game and then a bunch of freelance work came my way and I spent the last three weeks doing all that and now I've kind of forgotten how to do some of the stuff that I set up in that room. So I figured I would do kind of a super low effort video uh, where you and I remember together how to do the thing that I have done. Now that thing uh, in this instance is gonna be how to make an NPC walk on a route because you know, so far in my game, every NPC so far has been kind of stationary. They've had an idle animation, but by and large, they've just been stood still or sat still. And this is the first one that I've got to walk up and down. So yeah, I kind of can't remember how I did it. Um, so I thought it would be a good learning exercise to try and remember how I did it by kind of retro engineering, unpicking it, figuring out what happened. Welcome back to the Point and Click Devlog, an ongoing series in which I am literally flying by the seat of my pants most of the time. So yeah, let's dive in and see what we can find out. So first of all, if we play the game, um, this is the room I was setting up. You may remember this sort of staircase situation I was doing the other week. And this is my NPC, uh, Eugene. So he has a walk up and down cycle. He gets to the end of his little routine, end of his also path, does a little idle routine where he counts, checks that piece of paper, and then goes back and does it again. And now at any point in that routine, you can speak to him and he will go stand over there. And we have a little bit of a test dialogue going on. So that is all working fine. And it's something that I would like to replicate in future rooms with future NPCs. As I said, I don't know how I did it. So um, let's kind of try and go through the steps. I mean, in the first instance, right, we added Eugene as an NPC in the normal way. Uh, there's a, I've got a video on how I did that um, for another NPC. The NPC wizard in Adventure Creator is pretty straightforward. Um, we have him in the scene here. He doesn't follow the sorting map. Um, which is something that I've mentioned to a few people before, where whereas the player will follow the sorting map so he gets bigger and smaller and goes behind things, all of my NPCs so far I've just ticked ignore because it creates weird scaling issues and uh, as long as he doesn't go behind anything, it's fine. Um, so he's there, he has his, you know, animations all added like idle and walk and stuff like that so the idle animation is that one where he's counting and then he checks his paper and stuff he has a bunch of animations um, ignore that they're all over the shop ignore that there are loads of them some of them were duplicated in the process of making him and i've forgotten to delete them because i named them wrong this is par for the course <laughs> um, but crucially, he's in the scene, right? And now, obviously, if he was just idle, he would just stand there and do that. But walking, how does that happen? So obviously, you know, I've animated his walk cycle and he has a left and a right. He doesn't have a forwards and back. Um, now, the steps to making him walk. So I think the first thing I did, let's have a little dive into what's going on here because I think the first thing you need to do is check out the on start and uh, on start cutscene because we have you know camera faded and all that kind of stuff this this is the important thing i was looking at this just full <laughs> full disclosure i was looking at this just before i started pressing record um so one of the things the game does on start is runs an asset file that i part that past me created called eugene standard so if we dig into what Eugene standard is it's very simple by the looks of things um, it is character move along path and I've pointed it to Eugene um, the method I chose move move on new path and then the path to follow is Eugene walk uh, and at the end of that it stops apparently so let's just see so we have the we have the path here Eugene walk you see it's that blue this blue line here um, which in the AC editor I believe you go 
navigation path and then you can create a new path like you know make one there and then and then draw the different nodes so zero is the first node here um, that's the starting origin point um, you select walk um, path type loop which means he won't just get to the end and stop he'll get to the end and keep going back and forth forever um, doesn't teleport when looping overrides gravity I don't really know what that does but I think it's to do with my ignoring sorting layer stuff I tick that I think I didn't tick that and it didn't work and I did tick it and it does um, so that's how game dev works so it goes from 0 to 1 and at 1 you play Eugene at end of path so if we go back into our action list I've got one called Eugene at end of path which is a character animate Eugene is the NPC um, the method is play custom then we have Eugene idle which is his kind of you know counting stuff blah 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 blah, blah. return to idle wait until finish return to idle after and then I guess he just goes back to doing this is that because so we walk to the end of the path uh, that's yeah okay <laughs> we walk to the end of the path it says play um, idle which is the uh, one loop of him going blah 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 and then checking the paper and then walk back along the path and do the same thing so yeah at the start of the game we have Eugene standard Eugene standard is walk along path and he gets to the end of the path he gets to the end of the path it plays end of path which says play the idle animation um, then it returns to idle which I guess and, and stops after running stop oh that'd be it after running stop right so stop this and go back to what he was doing before which means that in practice he yeah is idle then walk, stops walks is idle stops walks So that is how I did it, I think. So how would you like a completely free game? Well, today's sponsor, Nerd Monkeys, has you covered. Nerd Monkeys is a new indie publisher not afraid to try out new things, whether that's curating short form game anthologies, porting games of all shapes and sizes over to consoles, or even using their sponsor slot to give away free games. Games like Traffics, for example, which Nerd Monkeys ported to the Nintendo Switch and which you can grab totally for free if you use one of the codes on screen right now before anybody else. Whilst you scribble down a code, I should probably let you know that the guys at Nerd Monkeys are looking to meet new devs who want to get their games ported. So if you're working on a PC game that you'd love to be able to launch on the Switch, Xbox, or PlayStation, Nerd Monkeys want to help you make that happen. If that sounds up your street, click the link in the description below to learn more. And thanks very much to Nerd Monkeys for sponsoring this video. Now what's interesting is I can grab him to speak to him at any point when he's walking around. So if he's over here, for instance, he will stop what he's doing, come over and, and, and stand there. There we go. Right, so how do we do that? How did I do that? I don't know. It was weeks ago. Um, so Eugene talk to is obviously an action list. So hi Eugene. So the, on this interaction, um, we have a marker for the player to walk to. Um, he gets there um, and he says, hi Eugene. Um, character then moves to point. So Eugene then moves to a marker I've called Eugene talking. Um, which is there so talk to Eugene is the one that the player goes to Eugene talking is the one that he goes to he walks ignore gravity wait until finish copy the marker angle uh, and then set a new idle animation to be Eugene listen which is kind of listen is what I call the ones where play NPCs are just stood still like blinking because then they're listening um, engine wait for no reason at all and then uh, player says something 
NPC says something, then make Eugene face right, so he's going back the way he was, and then play Eugene standard, which is, again, just our kind of moves along path. So I hope that makes sense. It does to me now, just for, just so you know, if you wanted to make a path, like let's make a fake path. So uh, test path, for example, how does one, still where is it, it's down here for some reason. So that, this is our path. And I'm pretty sure you just add a node and then, yeah, so that you can do that. The reason um, in our actual one it's coming out of his like halfway up is because on those animations I have the pivot point to be like the center of those sprites. So it's the center of um, his whole length. If I was to put it down here, um, he would be halfway through the floor. And if I was to put it up here, he would be floating in the sky. Um, so yeah, look, super... Um, <laughs> rubbishy devlog video this um, but I just wanted to or basically given that I'd forgotten how to do this I thought it might be useful to run through it with you um, or try and figure it out and so at the end of the day create a path um, with in this instance two nodes because he's just walking back and forth um, create an on start action list where the NPC at start walks along the path Make that path so that when he gets to the end, you play a separate action list that is idle. I mean, if you just wanted to walk back and forth, I think that would just do that forever. But if you make that thing saying, stop, do the idle thing, and then go back to what you were doing, he's just gonna go back and forth forever like that. Then when you wanna to talk to him, wherever he is, you go, right, forget that, move to point um, in a new action list, and then have all, change the thing to listen, and then have all your conversation and then face in the right direction and send him back towards that path. The marker for that, um, for him talking is very close to where his path ends. So again, the markers are up here because they're halfway. His sprite is, if his sprite is that big, the center point is in the middle. But you'll see his, whatever these markers are, I don't know. That's Eugene talking. It's just, just beyond where his path ends to make him sort of leave the path. Um, and then yeah, he'll go back to that part. I think if, you, if that marker was too far away because of the ignore gravity, no sorting layer stuff, it might get a bit funky. Um, but as it is, it works fine. Um, so yeah, that is how you make a walking NPC. Um, I really apologize for the quality of this video, but I wanted to just get something out um, and something that might be a bit useful to people, even though um, obviously not a lot of effort has gone into this. Um, so look, uh, thanks for watching, have a nice time, I'll come at you with a proper devlog uh, next time with some degree of quality to it. <laughs>